There's the water, it looks really calm. That's our cabin on the other side. And then there's Westford Town. Here's a nice little thatch house on the left as we're getting coming closer towards the beach. It's a beautiful beach. Make sure when you come visit Wexford that it is one of your stops. It has to, if you come all the way to Wexford from wherever part of the world you come, this is definitely one of the spots is a, a must visit. Good morning everyone. It's 19th of November. It's uh it's about 7.50 and you can see the sunrise is just about popping up in Wexford town. I'm walking today to uh, go to Kirkwell Beach. It's about a 10 a kilometer walk, two hours and a bit, because it's a, some dodgy areas and that, uh, like the roads are very, very narrow for pedestrians. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk down towards town. I'm gonna see if we can get lucky and maybe either flip a ride with somebody, uh, gives us a ride to Kirkwell or maybe taxi or maybe I'll just walk the whole thing. So stay with me and we'll see how do I manage to get to Kirkwell Beach and show you. So the Kirkwell Beach is obviously um, one of the best beaches in all of Europe and uh, it's also the scene of this the opening section of the Saving Private Ryan film. I'll put a little picture on it to help you remind you uh, what happened in uh, the beach, the reenactment of D-Day, which is the most epic battle in all of the Second World War. That's a nice view as I'm walking in just past the hospital on Newtown Road in Wexford Town. And you can see the sunrise just trying to crest the, uh, the houses in front of me. It's a nice day. It's a little brisk. It's probably about four degrees Celsius. And, uh, we're just making our way towards the uh, Redmond Square in the town, which should take about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll see from there. We're down on the key part towards the Redmond Square. We're, you can see the council are getting ready for to put the lights on the Christmas lights for, I think that's opening up next uh, Saturday. They're gonna have the lighting of the lights for Christmas time. I'm just heading up towards the uh, taxi rank. I might ask how much it would be to take me to Kirkwell Beach. See if it's reasonable. If not, we'll just keep plodding along, walk over the bridge, and uh, we'll make our way towards Kirkwell Beach. How much would it be to go to Kirkwell Beach? About 18 euro. 18? Okay. All right. Thanks. Let's see. used to be 12 a few years ago, but I guess everything's gone up in price. Price of fuel, I guess. We'll just uh, keep plodding along. I'll walk over the bridge. I think the best bet would be to walk to the Kirkwell and then we'll look, try to put a thumb out to get towards uh, Kirkwell Beach. Like that road is a little bit dangerous, so I want to maybe stay at the beginning of it. Let's see if I can get collected. Someone going at, at least to Kirkwell to the turn off to go towards the beach. See the sun, jeez. I don't know if it's blinding you, but it's blinding me a bit. Anyways, I'll turn it off for now and we'll keep going towards the bridge. I'll turn it on when we get to the bridge. This is the key with all the muscle boats. And here is Wexford Bridge. Here's the RNLI, the lifeboats. Here's the bridge itself. Here's the water, looks really calm. That's our cabin on the other side. And then there's Wexford Town. The water's very calm. And then if you followed the shoreline all the way around, you'd eventually get to Ravens Point and uh, Kirkwell Beach. That's where we'll be heading to. Right now, we're just gonna walk across the bridge, keep walking towards the turn off, towards Kirkwell, which is a fair, fair enough little walk. And then we'll see if we can get collected by somebody. 
Here's the back part, and there's Wexford Town. And there's the boats on the quay and around. As we keep going, and there's that boat. So we're almost at the end of Wexford Bridge. And then if you look all the way down over there, that's the point, Ravens Point, all the way there. It's quite a, quite a distance from where we're standing, but we're gonna have to go along this road and end up that way. Just wanted to show you what it's like. Oh. There's a nice little monument there. Looks like an angel. And if you look straight down there where all the boats are, that's the, uh, the sailing club. Looks for sailing club. And we just keep going along our merry way. Well, there's a bit of luck. The Ryan's Bakery man picked me up uh, just after I turned off the, the camera the last time and he dropped me off at the turn off for Kirk Lowe. So you see the sign for Kirk Lowe and here's the main row. Mohana Cafe and then we head this way. So now we're heading towards Kirk Lowe. Like I said, people are always nice and friendly and willing to help. You can see the frost still in the grass in the mornings. Look at that. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up, but it looks really lovely. And then the other side, and then the sun comes through the trees. And this is the road that I'm traveling for the next little while to get into Kirko Village. And then we turn off towards Kirko to the beach. There's a sign up ahead. It says five kilometers to Kirko uh, Village. Just wanted to show you the crisp ground that's set up and see how narrow the road is. So this is why it's you have to watch it. So I'm walking with the traffic, but it's quiet enough so I can hear if there was any vehicles coming up pulling to the side. Now we're down to three kilometers to uh, Kirklo Village. And it's about nine in the morning. There's a nice little thatched cottage along the way. I just checked on my uh, Google Maps and I'm 54 minutes walking time to get right to the beach, which isn't that bad because it said 2.41 when I left. So that little lift from the bread man helped a lot. And now we're probably about, let's say about two kilometers outside of the village. And then we turn off to go towards the beach. Might go in and get a coffee or something to eat before we head to the beach. The frost hasn't uh, come off the grass there on that house. It almost looks like snow from this point. If you look at it. And yeah, after I said that, we just passed the sign that says two kilometers to Kirkwell Village. So it shouldn't be long before we're there. There's the rock. Welcome to Kirkwell. So we're into Kirkwell uh, Village. I'm gonna probably look and get a drink, or Lucasade or something, or get something. It's 9.30, so we're not too, too far out from uh, getting to Kirkwell Beach now. I think it's about two or three kilometers to walk towards the water. But now we're gonna walk into Kirkwell Beach, into Kirkwell Town, I mean. And there you have Kirkwell Hotel just on to my left there. There you go, and then continue on towards the village. That way, to the left you go to screen. And then we'll just keep working our way. Towards the turn off there, I know there is a shop like a center or a spa or something like that. I'll be able to get my drink and then we'll head off towards uh, the beach. I'll turn it off right. Now we're heading into the crossroads here. You see uh, Furlong's Bar. Just here. Omaha Beach Restaurant. And then here's the turn off towards, to go towards Kirk Lowe. We'll be taking that. 
But we're going to stop into Centra to get a drink, maybe a coffee or something. And here you have the Kirkwell Post Office. Pretty cute looking little place. Okay, so I just stopped in uh, Centra. I picked up myself a uh, uh, LucasAid Zero uh, Pink Lemonade for two euros and two vegan sausage rolls for 150. I spoke to the people in the shop. They said it would be about a 15, 20 minute walk to get to uh, the beach from here. So before you know it, we'll be there and uh, enjoy the scenes of beautiful Kirkwell Beach and uh, towards the end of November. So I'm just gonna have this now and then once I get back on we'll turn on the camera and then we'll ask. This is the old school. Just as you turn off the words Kirkwell, it's the old Kirkwell National School. A tiny little yoke. Even view. And this road is a tight little narrow stretch of the way but it should be Less busy than the main road to go into towards Kirkwell Village. That's yeah, about, tw went through Google Maps and it said 22 minutes. Um, so, a little less than 20 minutes we should be there. Anyways, I'm going to turn on the camera if I see something that jumps out at me and until we get towards the beach. Here's an interesting fact. Everywhere in Ireland, all these little uh, roads, 80 kilometers an hour. Jeez, you wouldn't want to be going 80 kilometers an hour here. And this is a two-way two traffic here. So it says uh, two kilometers to White Cap. I think it's a little, about that or a little bit less, we'll see. And then there's just some of the old houses along the way. Nice little hedge. Like I said, 80 kilometers an hour would just be Absolutely mental. Jeez, I wouldn't be going that. Anyways, we're just coming around and we'll just keep going. And if I see anything new and exciting, I'll turn on the clock video. Here's an entrance into a trailer park for holiday homes. I just want to show you because I was, I was going to pop on the video just to show you the road, the windy road. The nice scenic view but just to the left there's a hidden entrance that has uh holiday homes in there for Kirkwell so a lot of people come stay during the summertime for a week or two with their family and they're walking distance to the beach and like I said beach in uh, Wexford well in actually Europe it's one of the top three in all of Europe now if we have the weather it really lovely because you'll see when we get it there it's pristine sand and miles and miles of beach and it's really lovely and we'll enjoy the summer time when it's nice and warm and people go in there but then you can also go in there and any time of year my friend Paul he uh, he goes out there to Kirkho and swims all the time and he has a tradition where with the lads and the Marys a football team they usually on uh, Stevens Day which is the 26th of December they go for a run and they all jump into the Kirkwell and he waits till he's the color of well that fence when he comes out I don't know I don't think I have the stomach for that I like the warm water too much but there's just a little the view as you're walking up to it it's just quite serene and lovely as you can see there's all double yellow lines on each side now obviously you think well why would you have double yellow lines on these roads not like you're gonna park but in a few years ago it was chocker block like people would just abandon cars along the sides and you couldn't even get one car in and it was a bottleneck so what they do now have is they have uh, free buses that are from Redmond Square and they'll bring people up to the beach and then bring them back so you don't have that the bottleneck of all the, the vehicles and like because it was actually quite dangerous because if only one car could go through and then once it started the other car would have to reverse and it was just a nightmare but now that's all been alleviated there's buses to the beach and back so it's a lot more it's a lot more better because it's a huge beach you'll see yourself thousands and thousands of people can fit on it quite comfortably 
off if you wanted to walk to Ravenswood, the natural reserve. It's just to the left there, uh, the right. If you're walking in from Kirkwood and then we're just walking this way. You can see the beach or the water and the Irish Sea in the background. And then if you look way up in front, you can see the water in front of us. So we're not far there. We have to get to the winning post, which is a car park and it has a restaurant and shop, a surf shop and all this other good stuff that you get. And um, that'll give us a walkway to get to the beach. So we're almost there, getting a little excited. It's been a while since I've been to uh, Kirkwall Beach and I kind of miss it. Like I said, the vlogs are, are a great ex opportunity for me to force me to see the, the beautiful places that are available in Wexford. Like I said, I went to Vinegar Hill for the first time this year after being here for almost 15 years. Um, make sure that you uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to be notified of any upcoming vlogs. And if you like, hit the like button and uh, don't forget to comment. Tell me if you enjoyed it or places you want me to, to show next. Um, just more than wel welcome to respond to all my uh, comments and that. So, so you can see we're getting really close to the beach now. Here's a nice little thatch house on the left as we're getting, coming closer towards the beach. It's really nice. And then you can see another Holiday Homes trailer park on the uh, left as we're getting closer. There's an old little farmhouse. there. The anticipation of the journey. Started the journey this morning up by the race course on Newtown Road and we walked all the way in with the one little detour of uh, the man from Ryan's bakery. He gave me a lift from just after the uh, riverbank up until the turn off to Kirkwo so that saved me about probably 25, 25 minutes or so. And uh, so there's Kirkwo Park doesn't look like it's open now, it's all locked up. I think it's off season now. And then you can see the, the beach in front of us, the water. Don't know if it picks it up on the GoPro as much, but we're not far there. Now we're just making way way down to the water. Don't know if you can hear it while well, there's cars coming by, but you can actually hear the waves crashing around. And we're still quite far away, but you can really hear it, the noise of it. So you see the right there, the surf shack, surf school and surf shop. And that in front of us is the winning post, which is a car park and then the shop and that I explained to. And then we're gonna walk up to the beach. You can see the cars pulling in there. It's a very busy spot all year round. Probably not predominantly in the summertime obviously with the weather. Um, but people do love to come here all year round. Go for a walk on the beach. Sometimes you see horses trotting up and down. So we're getting really close. I'm going to keep the camera on now while we walk up to the beach. I might speed it up, put some music track in the background, just so you can enjoy the views. Look at the sand dunes on the right. And then the car park. Come and take their dogs for a walk. Hopefully with bags. <laughs> Morning. Morning, how are you? Good, good. So 
here's the Strand Shop Takeaway. Coffee shop. It doesn't look like it's opened. Coffee sit down here. See, this is what more coffee. Yeah, they might have coffees there. We'll see. Oh yeah, there's someone inside. So maybe on the way back when we're waiting for Emily to collect me. There's toilets here that are available in the back there. And here's the walk up towards the beach. See these? The dunes are sand dunes with the grass blowing up. So imagine this during the Saving Private Ryan. You know, that's why it was an ideal site for the filming. Now, a friend of mine has told me that uh, Steven Spielberg offered Wexford County Council the set for the beach scene on Saving Private Ryan. And he even offered that they would move it up for up the beach away so it wouldn't impact the busy area. But Wexford turned it down. That's a lost opportunity. Imagine the people that would have come to see, you know, the set of Saving Private Ryan, which was one of the most, you know, highest grossing films of all time, you know, with Matt Damon, you know, Tom Hanks, multi Oscar winner. You know, there was, the crowd was just amazing. And here's the opening up at the beach. You can see, this looks lovely. Can you imagine all the boats and pulling up? And then here you'd have the the pillbox bunkers, the Germans coming in. Like, hopefully the GoPro picks it up, but it shows you the beauty of it. You can hear the waves crashing. There's your man walking his two dogs. And it goes all the way up towards Ballon Esker. And then you go up, you get the black water, and then eventually to um, to Core Town near Gori. But you see the beach, it's pristine. And look at the sand, beautiful, beautiful sand. You can walk around barefoot, no problem here. You'd have to go to the Caribbean or at, or the south of France to get beaches better than this. And the waves coming in, we'll walk right up to the water. I won't go in the water because I wear my boots and that, but walk around, see, kids can come or adults too pick up shells. There's always shells available here. Let's just uh, do a thumbnail. Or you can do one with the uh, with the uh, dunes in the back. Here's the the real thumbnail. The beach. And the waves coming in. And then you could see the whole beach around. Now I'm gonna walk up to the beach, up to the top part and back. I'll probably put it on just for the view, the vlog. Um, maybe speed it up a bit. I don't know. Put music on in the background. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. I just want to keep the camera on as long as possible while I'm here because it's just a lovely beach we have here. There's a nice lady picking up after her dog. Fair play. You can see the boats out in the uh, way out in the ocean. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up. Morning. It's just lovely out here. It almost makes like a second beach in here. We'll get closer to the the waves, I think. Get more of the effect. Maybe you'll hear the sounds of the water crashing. So imagine this what it looked like when they were filming Saving Private Ryan. Brought a lot of notoriety to Wexford too. You know, 
they were here for I think five months it took to film the whole film I don't know how long they were actually in Wexford on the beach because it was the opening scene those of you who know how long he was it was there why don't you just put comments so the the viewers can see if you were involved with it a lot of people were involved the locals you know there was extras needed people helping with the sets let's go across this we'll step in the water a bit no harm i have my trusty boots and here's the waves coming in Started. See, quickly, you 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 get mesmerized when you walk along the beach. You don't realize how far you go. It just like, it seems like a, a minute ago, a second ago, we started, and you've already been three, four hundred meters up the beach, and it goes for miles. Uh, I'll put a, in the description the exact length of the Kirkwood Beach and Ravens Point. How long it is? It's it's quite far. I think it's. Uh, I think it's 12 or some odd kilometers long so you can imagine on a nice sunny day it's being packed with people playing in the water not too many people swimming though don't think I'd fancy going in because it's only about four or five degrees today so I'd imagine the water would be quite brisk you hear the slashes of Smack of the waves. And today is a quite calm day too, as you've seen when we were coming across the bridge. Now, I'm going to try to do the Hook Lighthouse. The Hook Lighthouse is uh, one of my next spots. That, and I also want to do Tintern Abbey, the trail. Um, people have suggested try to go to Hook Lighthouse when the weather is actually not the best because you get the best views the water crashing up along the rocks along the White House like I said Hook White House was the oldest White House in operation in the world I think at one point but I'll do the research for that when I get close to doing that so make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when the Hook White House vlog comes up you can see all the shells that are available to collect along the beach a beautiful beach on the other side away down there you'd have England and Wales down towards there you'd have Rossler Harbour which you would take over towards Fishguard in Wales The sun has sort of disappeared, it's turning grey of a day and the winds are picking up so maybe the waves will pick up too. It's a beautiful beach. Make sure when you come visit Wexford that it is one of your stops. It has to, if you come all the way to Wexford from wherever part of the world you come, this is definitely one of the spots is a, a must visit. Good old handy waterproof boots, which I brought with me to Scotland when I went to Ben Nevis hike and climb. The links will be down below if you want to watch how I got on in Scotland. But more important, there's a lot of videos that I've done so far on Wexford and the beautiful things and places to see while you're in Wexford. The sky looks nice over there but it's getting darker so I think we have rain coming today I think it's only supposed to happen around 11 or 12 but then again we're getting close to 11 or 12 I guess I don't know I started around 8 o'clock in the morning and now it's uh, we're getting up to 10 19 
I said it's a beautiful walk. You get to see all along the beach. There's some kids. Looks like two little twins up ahead with mommy and daddy playing with their pink jumpsuits. Trees from here, they look like little miniature Teletubbies. If Teletubbies are pink, I don't know. I think one of them is pink, I don't know. We have a green one, a yellow one, a blue one. I think there's a pink one, I don't know, a red one, I don't know. We'll walk up to there, the point, and then we'll turn back, and then we'll head to the uh, the winning post, and we'll have a coffee while we wait for Emily to come collect us. But I mean, we're still not anywhere near finishing Kirkwell Beach Walk, so stay with me. It's it's a beautiful sight all around. Like you said, a lot of people walk their dogs. You know, it's a nice place for the dogs to get out. Hi, morning. It's beautiful out here, eh? They're going after the bird. Richie, good, you? I'm just vlogging Kirklow Beach. I'm vlogging Kirklow oh, Beach. Yeah, up into this for some reason. It's one of the last uh, places I wanted to see in Wexford I could do. Yeah. I've done about 30 videos. All right. I still have uh, Hookway House and Raven and um, Tinter and Abbey, but I've done everywhere. Yeah, yeah. These are your little twins. Yeah. Twins From along the back, they look like little Teletubbies. Or... <laughs> <laughs> hello. Say hi, yeah. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Hi, yeah. <laughs> you didn't. That? You didn't get the bird. No, no, couldn't get the bird. <laughs> bird never stayed still long enough. Huh? Oh, That's say a, hi, yeah. It's a beautiful day. I just walked. Oh, in, yeah. I walked in from like my place by the race course. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. She has a oh, fair wow. walk. It's a fair walk. This is why. <laughs> well, I left around around eight o'clock or so this morning. Yeah. Wow. So. You gonna Jeez. walk home as well? No, um, oh. Emily's gonna collect me oh, on okay. at the winning post, and then we'll oh, go downtown yeah. and do it. But I wanted to. I've been putting off uh, this for a while. Like I got a YouTube channel now. All right. So I'm doing all Wexford stuff and. Oh, I climbed Ben Nevis a few months ago. Just for radio. And in September, I'm going to uh, Nepal. Oh, yeah? Wow. And I spend about a month in Nepal. Deadly. So I'm just doing a lot of promoting of Wexford recently. I've been uh, been all over the county. I've been to like Ross and yeah. hitchhiked to Waterford one day. And yeah. I, I went to uh, Bano, uh, Bano Beach yeah. and then the Bano Church. Bano Church is nice. Yeah. And then oh, just all over. Just Deadly. For radio. Oh well, yeah, right. enjoy the beach. I'll just keep going. I'm not doing either with the Marys right now because I'm with the Lions Club this year. I'm the president of the Lions Club this year, and then with this and working, it's just a lot. So I took a took a year or two off for the count, and I'll get back once uh, once I can probably get back from Nepal. I think. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so that was this uh, one of the uh, the Mary's lads from, and uh, the Fight Harriers, and he used to be uh, the county uh, county harrower as well, Richie Keogh. And here's your chance up. It, like I said, Wexford and Ireland is very small country. Like no matter where you go, you end up meeting people. Like uh, myself and Emily have been away on holidays in like Cork and stuff like that, and we'll meet people from Wexford that you know. So. Yeah, so near the uh, crashing of the waves. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, place to watch and go and relax. Take your kids out for a walk, your dog. Just remember if you're taking out your dog for a walk, bring a bag. You know, there, like you said, at the winning post, there's lots of bins. Just, you don't want to spoil it for the people. You know, it is a public place. And, uh, like I said, the walk up and down the beach is very relaxing. And it's another another thing 
that you could do in Wexford and it's cheap. It might cost you a taxi out here or a bus out here, you know, or if you're driving out here, it's nothing, it's just the petrol. But like I said, once you get to the beach, if you get to the beach, it's free. You just have to walk up and down. You can bring your own flask if you don't want to buy a tea or coffee at the shop. Bring your own sandwiches and make a day out of it. So a lot of these things I've showed you about Wexford, you could do on a budget. You know, because Wexford, the accommodations and food is quite steep now. You know, it is one of the richest economies in Europe and one of the most expensive places. Morning. Yeah, one of the most expensive places in, to stay in, but the gems that you could see and there's things that you could do when you're here that are free are very cost efficient. Like I said, if you're coming to the summertime, you have the South Scarabby tour, which is a fiver for a person. The kids under a certain age are free. You know, you got the, uh, the Wexford walks, the town ones, which I think they're reasonable as well. And then you can walk around the ferry carrig and up to uh, Barron Town, which is all free. You can go to Bano, Cohenstown, Kilmore Key. Um, there's a small charge for the Hook, um, Johnstown uh, Castle. You can go to Vinegar Hill, which is free. If you want to spend, uh, I think it's a five, fiver or tenner, if you wanted two of them, you can go to Enniscordy, you can do the, see the castle, and then go see the 1798 Center. So these are all things in your grass. Take your drive out to Timon. Take a walk out to that uh, beautiful place in the woods in Brownswood, which I showed you in one of my first vlogs. There's a lot of things that you could do, but like definitely Kirkwell Beach is the one to uh, to come to. Um, and this will go all the way around. If I follow this all the way around, it would eventually lead me to the riverbank, which is where we had come across the bridge. So. It's a very nice scenic um, walk and it's easy enough. Like I said, I've walked from the outside of Wexford Town all the way here and relatively painless. It's flat, easy going. If anything, it's mostly downhill when you're coming through Wexford Town and uh, very enjoyable. You know, I don't have to go to the gym today. I've got my steps in. So now we're going to turn around and we'll make our way back towards the car park and we'll have a cup of coffee there, give uh, Emily a bell and then we'll see, um, we'll see about uh, getting collected and then going downtown and doing our normal Saturday shopping and stuff, getting ready for the week.
Okay, so I just rang Emily and she's actually just coming off the bridge heading towards us. So she's gonna come here and collect me. So I'll just quickly show you what the coffee place looks like. So even in the winter time, you could still see that they have coffees and ice creams and minerals and extra stuff to go for muffins and that. There's music playing, so I won't stay around long. But just to show you, so, and then, uh, like I said, in the summertime, it's really, they have the, uh, the surf shop open. They have all sorts of uh, arcades items and you get uh, hamburgers and chips and french fries and you know everything so it's really catered for the tourists that are vision and like i said there's the showers or the toilets across the way you have a clothes recycling place and like i said there's lots of car space but not for 10 or 15 thousand people which could show up on the beach so that's why the buses are uh very very important for it as you see in the roads coming to Tur kirk is very tight so i'm just gonna have me a little rest here. We'll wait till Emily gets here. And uh, here's a little interesting mask. Let's just 